John here, guys, and today we're talking about the Sky Zone 04X V2. Uh, I see where you're going. Officially the best analog goggle on the market. Now, we're going to go over all the reasons why, but it's also a significant occasion because we can finally say goodbye to Fat Shark. You know, we had some good times together. You basically helped create the industry, but you've gotten lazy, you've gotten a little bit scummy, and good riddance. Consider that a divorce. There's no reason for anyone to buy another set of Fat Shark goggles in 2021. Perhaps not ever again if the trend continues, and we're gonna tell you why. Now, Fat Shark has been the greatest presence in FPV, one of the most reliable, so they do have very good customer service, but they've missed the mark many, many, many times by not including a power button until this version, by not including a good DVR ever, and that's on this goggle or this Shark Bite HD uh, system right here and a few other reasons. Now, Sky Zone has been one of the budget offerings uh, for the last several years, but they've been getting slowly better and better and better. And now they have finally achieved near perfection as they now have the best goggle on the market that we have ever seen. And there's three significant advantages over the HDO2 and there is a small margin by which it edges out the Orca, which is also a very, very good goggle. Now, one, the fitment. If you remember Bot Grinder's review of the HDO2, he had like his eyes bleeding and that's because the lenses of the HDO2 do stick out quite a bit. Um, and you have to buy an upgraded foam in order to get it a little bit further away from your face. My eyelashes do regularly still touch the lenses. It's that close and there's not really a good adjustment for that. But Sky Zone includes two different face plates. There is the flat face plate right here that brings the goggles very close to your eyes. But if you're like most of us in the US, you need the thicker face plate right here. As you can see, it moves it about 10 to 20 millimeters out so you can get a comfortable viewing distance in your eyes and man that is just such a huge addition just like the fat shark hdo2 it does have a full ipd adjustment which allows you to adjust the optics in or out and it also has a focus adjustment so many users for both of these goggles that wear glasses can get away with adjusting the focus and not have to worry about it so all but the most aggressive of prescription wearers will be able to use a goggle like the HDO2 or the SkyZone 04X, uh, which is really nice and significant. Number two reason why this is significantly better is that it has a quality, high quality DVR built in. Um, finally, we have an actual DVR that you can use for your analog footage. You know, I have to record analog footage for reviewing stuff on the channel, for racing, and having the worst DVR known to man that really makes your already not great analog footage look even worse is just terrible. You know, you wanna put your best foot forward and you want to be able to look your best. So have the best DVR on board. Now it's notable that the O4X V1 has a really good DVR. The V2, essentially all it changes is that it upgrades the DVR in order to be able to do a higher frame rate. You can now do double the frame rate of the old one. So the old one is still, the V1 is still a really, really nice DVR. If you do want to spend the extra for a V2, that's what you're getting. The rest of the entire goggle is identical. The other significant addition is you might notice the pricing. This is 529, whereas the HDO2 is 500. So why is it a little bit more? Well, this comes with an analog module. Uh, SkyZone's Rapid Mix module is actually pretty good. We're going to show you some comparison. I think I'm going to have another video where I compare this against Rapid Fire. I do feel like Rapid Fire is very slightly better, but you know, analog is not going to be looking perfect anyway. So if you wanted to have 
a combination like this that was analog plus rapid fire, you're gonna end up spending $650, whereas this is only 529. So because it comes with an analog module, if you are able to accept you know, 90% of the quality, you can get away with spending just that amount and not a penny more. It's also notable that for a hundred bucks, you can add another of these modules on the other side because it does have two module base. Then you have quad versity. You can have four antennas and it's just like a massive amount. Now, um, we'll see if we can make a video about that in the future, but that is a nice option to have. So those are the significant differences why you're gonna want to go with the Sky Zone. Now, what about the Orca? The Orca does have the improved DVR. The Orca does not come with a module though, and it costs about 150 bucks more. So I'm gonna think most of the users are gonna be better off with the Sky Zone. But if you do choose the Orca because you like its futuristic looks, we can't fault you for that. It is a very high quality goggle. I would choose either one of them over the HDO2. We're gonna have a full 2021 goggle roundup coming up very soon, but spoiler alert, the King is now Sky Zone. Fat Shark is now probably third place behind Sky Zone and Orca. What do you think in the comments, guys? What are you running for analog? Um, it's also notable a couple of not so perfect things. The fan layout is slightly different than Fat Shark. So for mounting up Shark Bite, which I am going to do, this little printed model right here, I'm gonna have the STL for that in the description below. You can attach your Shark Bite system, and I do like that it just kind of slides onto the fan and you can mount it like that. That's pretty cool. Um, the rapid fire cover does not fit on this goggle. You can run rapid fires, but there is a printed cover that you can print and then slaps on and fits, you know, just fine like that. Another note is if you are a Team Black Sheep Fusion module user, that module does not fit in this goggle. Joe Mama found out the hard way and had to switch to rapid fire even though he would prefer to use the fusion so make note of that as far as downsides another slight gripe is i feel like the plastic on the shark fat sharks is like slightly better like i mean i'm not saying this feels like it's from the dollar store but it's not the highest quality but that's really like kind of low on the priority list the optics are good the screens themselves, I feel like, I don't know if it's the actual color rendition of this OLED panel being better or if it's just the adjustments that you have. There's so many color adjustments, you can really customize the image, but I feel like um, the image looks better in this sky zone. I actually also like the fan orientation blows air, like basically directly onto the lens right here. I feel like it directs the air a little bit better than on the, uh, Fat Sharks, another slight gripe was there was some little holes in each corner right here and you can see I put like a little bit of electrical tape on there because I was getting a slight light leak. That's a pretty easy fix, but for a $500 item, I do wish that would have come uh, fixed. You also get the option of two face foams that come in here, this sort of like pleather option and then there's a foam one. Um, neither one of them are perfect. I wish there was a newbie drone phone option for this. I don't know if the HDO2 ones will work. Other notable things to note are that the Shark Bite system does fit on there. The cable gets a little bit squinched because the HDMI port is in a slightly different position, but that's not a big deal. I am gonna run Shark Bite with this. Um, another interesting note is the barrel connector for your power is on the bottom. I thought that was a little bit weird, but after using it, I actually like it better. So that is an improvement. This can also take voltage all the way up to 6S. I have seen a few people um, in the heat of the moment plug in a 6S pack directly into their Fat Sharks. And man, I still have nightmares about the time that Sam OG Slim accidentally plugged in a 6S pack into his HDO2s while it was on his head and you could literally see smoke coming out of the module bay. Like it was kind of scary, so. <laughs> you don't have to worry about that at all with the Sky Zone. So multiple advantages of this. Goodbye Fat Shark. Long live the new king Sky Zone. Consider that a divorce. Check out the goggles. And that Neil is on has. 50. Look at that. Sky, Sky Zone. Yep, and I ordered a new DVR module that gives 60 frames per second DVR. Oh, nice. Yeah, so do you think anyone should buy HDO2 or only nah, Sky Zone? No, I don't think so, honestly. Yeah, no. the DVR sucks too bad. Maybe someone should buy Orca. Yeah, Orca. Because it's more features, 
but it's like worse optics a little bit so if someone wants a little bit more features but a little bit worse picture then they can buy Orca. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not sure. What do you think in the comments, guys? What analog goggles are you running for this year, for this season? Uh, if you want to buy one that's going to be future proof, you're going to want to have a good DVR on there. You're going to want to have HDMI compatibility. You're going to want to have nice focus adjustment. Those are the key things. So if you got 500 bucks to spend um, in addition to your DJI goggles, here you go. Thanks, guys.